Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 22581. This build was released by Microsoft today, of course. So in this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what is changed, and about what is fixed in this build. So if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. Before going on with the rest of the video, a quick message from this video's sponsor. This video is sponsored by VAP SED. Key. On this website, you can find official licenses for Steam, Origin, Uplay, and Xbox. You can buy a Windows 10 Pro license for a very good price by using the discount code TB25 for a 25% discount. The activation process is very simple, and you can also activate Windows 11 Pro using a Windows 10 license. Using the code TB25, you can also buy Office 2019 for a very good price. All the links will be in the description below. Let's continue with the video. So this build for the dev channel and the beta channel is a pretty small build, not many new things on it, but a very, very important thing happened because Microsoft released this build for both the dev and the beta channel, and this means that we can now switch from the dev channel to the beta channel if we have this build installed. Of course, this means that if you're on the beta channel, you will also receive this build along with all the other new additions in Windows 11, and I think that is really, really cool. But the most important thing, as I've said, is that you can now switch from the dev to the beta channel very easily. So let me show you I can do that. Just open up the search box or any other app and open up settings. In settings, go to Windows Update and then click on Windows Insider Program. You have up here, choose your insider settings. And as you can see now, we have the beta channel section uncovered. We can switch from the dev to the beta channel while we are on this build. Be aware that again, when the dev channel releases a higher build compared to the beta channel, you won't be able to switch to the beta channel again. So I think for a week, or so we're going to be able to switch from the dev to the beta channel easily without having to completely reinstall the operating system and that is really really good so this is the time if you are not enjoying the dev channel if you think that it has a lot of bugs and you cannot cope with it if you have it installed on your main computer just switch to the beta channel which is a better channel for consistency and stability and the beta channel should do the work other changes and improvements in this build is that microsoft is starting to implement a few new features and ideas to certain and Windows Insiders and you're gonna have the chance to give a feedback about that in the feedback hub. That is really cool. Also regarding the taskbar, the tablet optimized taskbar feature which began rolling out with the build 22563 is now available to all Windows Insiders in the dev and beta channels. So if you have a touchscreen device, a tablet or something like that, you'll be able to use the tablet optimized taskbar. Regarding the taskbar, we have several fixes such as the top bar borderline now extending across the entire taskbar. So that is really cool. That was a bug that we had since the launch of Windows 11. And also the keyboard focus and mouse hover for Win32 system tray icons and the show hidden icons flyout have been updated to match the rest of the visual style of the taskbar. A thing that you will be able to encounter in this build is that the drag and drop feature for pinning or unpinning these items is not available right now. But as an alternative, you can right click on the taskbar and then go to taskbar settings and you have the option other system tray icons. And here you have hidden icon menu which you can enable and here you have all the icons which you can turn on or off so basically this is everything that is new in this build as i've said this is a smaller build because it was released only four or five days after the previous one but this is great news that we can finally switch from the dev to the beta channel i think this was highly requested and that is really good now let's talk about some fixes so regarding the taskbar drag and drop to the taskbar should now work with auto hidden taskbars regarding the start menu microsoft fixed an issue that was sometimes causing the search box at the top of the start to flicker. Microsoft also made a lot of fixes and changes to the file explorer icons and organization in order for the file explorer to be as reliable as possible. And basically, these are all the fixes that I'm going to talk about in this video. If you want to see the whole list of fixes, you can go on and check the article down below in the description and also the known issues that will be listed down below as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget that you can finally switch from the dev to the better channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with an notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Always Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.